God damn it. Uh, hey. Um, a bunch of the people I know right now are preparing to take the PE exam. So, I thought I'd do a short video on, or a video on a, one of the sample problems from the book I got, uh, both from their official website. Anyway, here's the problem. A 227 feet length of canal is to be lined with concrete for erosion control with 12% allowance for e waste and over excavation. The volume cubic yards of concrete that must be delivered is most nearly blah blah blah. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to pause the video, you work on the problem, and then unpause the video when you're ready for the answer. Okay, you ready? Because you had plenty of time to pause, so. Uh, what this problem is basically asking is, uh, it's basically just calculate the volume, but there's this extra part. You could you could have calculated the volume if you were in middle school or whatever, and then they just added a little extra part right here. This 12% allowance for waste and over excavation. All this means is they transport the concrete here, and somehow you know it's spilled somewhere, so that's a little bit of waste. And then they dug too much, and you got to cover that with concrete, so that's for the over excavation. That's all it means. Okay, but in order to do this, all you got to do just find this freaking perimeter right here you know you see where it's lined with the concrete they have that little thing right there so you just gotta find this area so uh, you know this side's nine right here because they tell you but you don't know these two sides on of the trapezoid right here but you do know this it's 14 feet and this has a ratio or a relationship. Drawing's not right, but this is a two, this is a three. So what does this mean? For every two feet over here, there's three feet over here. So this basically means this has to be 21. And if you can't figure that out, it's just really fast math. Two over three equals 14 feet over x. You multiply across, two x equals three times 14 feet. So x is equal to 21 feet. Okay, so that gives you these two sides of this uh, triangle right here, if you can imagine a triangle. And in order to get that last side, we just do Pythagorean theorem. Uh, if you remember that, that's uh, x squared plus y squared equals z squared. So your x in this case, 14 squared plus 21 squared equals z squared. z is equal to, and then just punch that in your calculator, because this is not what you're being tested on. What you're being tested on is mostly that 12% right there. I mean, this is an easy problem. Square root. Okay, so it's about 25 feet. Let's see. 25 feet. Okay, so you know this is 25, and this is 25. So you just add all these to get this length right here. But next, to get the area, you need to multiply by the thickness. So this 7 inches of thickness, it occurs throughout this whole section right here. So... Before you do that, though, you get the cross-sectional area. Before you do that, you got to convert the 7 inches. The 7 inches needs to be converted to feet. So that's just 7, you know, 7 out of 12, really. You don't need to do this, but just in case. For completion's sake, that's 7 out of 12. Because the inches cancel, you're left with just feet. 7 out of 12 feet. Okay, so cross-sectional area is just going to be, this 25 occurs twice. It happens here and over here. So 25 plus 25 plus 9 times 7 out of 12. So we get A equals, let's see, 25 plus 25 plus 9 times 7. I 
Okay, so I got about 34.5. Let's see. 34.5. Note that this is feet squared now. Okay, so you get the volume. You have to multiply by this lined length of 227 feet right here. Okay, so that's just... I guess you could have just done it all in one go if you really wanted. Oh my god, What? what is this? Why is my brush so big? Oh god! Uh, control Z. Okay. Uh, brush size. It's back down to whatever it was before. I think it's around here or something. Okay, that was really bad. Okay. I don't know what happened. Okay, where were we? So, 34.5 feet squared times 227 feet. Alright, so what is this? Times two two seven equals. All right, we get volume seven thousand eight hundred twelve uh, feet cubed. Okay, but the other thing, your volume is in cubic yards, so you we gotta convert this. So we want this cubic yards. This has to be feet cubed, yard cubed. Uh, is this easier for you? Ah, uh, actually, maybe it's not. I don't know if you guys know how to convert uh, that quickly, but I'll show you. This is, this is a slightly longer way, but it's just so you keep it in mind. So. There's for every one yard, there's three feet. So you just divide this by 27 basically, because then you'll have feet times feet times feet. This cancels out. And then you'll have be left with yards cubed. And let's see what that is. Divided by three nine. Okay, cool. So, if you've been carrying your numbers throughout, that's what I'm doing in my calculator, and you get like 292. Ah, so that's C, right? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not C at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, because we still didn't take into account that 12% right there. That 12% for allowance. So, we take into that 12% allowance. That ends up being 292 times 1.12 equals three hundred twenty seven point four but uh, three hundred twenty seven point zero four yards cubed okay and that's D which is correct but technically, I mean, technically, when you got that 292 right here, and you didn't get that last 12%, obviously the answer has to be this. The answer can't be lower, because uh, you're accounting for over-excavation waste. So you want extra concrete. So it has to be higher than that 292 calculator in the first place. Uh, so really, you didn't even have to do that last step, I guess, because simple deduction would have told you D. Unless whoever wrote the test really screwed up and, uh, you know, they, they, I don't know, none of the answers were right, in which case, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, uh, maybe we'll do another video later.